Welcome to Charleston, South Carolina, the oldest and largest city in the state, and one of the most charming and historic destinations in the country. In this video, we'll show you the top 10 things to see and do in Charleston, as well as give you some tips for planning your trip. Number 10, The Battery and Rainbow Row. One of the best ways to start your tour of Charleston is to stroll along the Battery, a scenic promenade that overlooks the Charleston Harbor and the Ashley and Cooper Rivers. Here, you'll see some of the most impressive mansions and gardens in the city, as well as monuments and cannons that commemorate the military history of the city. You'll also get a glimpse of the famous Rainbow Row, a series of colorful houses that date back to the 18th century and symbolize the city's preservation and revitalization. Number 9, The Old Slave Mart Museum. Another place that you should not miss in Charleston is the Old Slave Mart Museum, located at 6, Chalmers Street. This is the only known building that was used as a slave auction gallery in South Carolina, and one of the few remaining in the country. The museum tells the story of Charleston's role in the domestic slave trade, which flourished after the international slave trade was banned in 1808. Here, you can see exhibits and artifacts that illustrate the harsh realities of slavery and the lives of the enslaved people who were bought and sold in this very place. Number 8, The Charleston Museum. If you're interested in the natural and cultural history of the Lowcountry, you'll definitely want to visit the Charleston Museum, the oldest museum in America, where you can discover the prehistoric times to the present day. The museum also operates two historic houses, the Joseph Manigault House and the Hayward Washington House, where you can see how the wealthy Charleston natives lived in the 18th and 19th centuries. Number 7, The USS Yorktown. If you're a fan of naval and maritime history, you'll also want to visit the USS Yorktown, one of the 24 Essex-class aircraft carriers built during World War II for the United States Navy. Tiki USS Yorktown is the centerpiece of Patriots Point Naval and Maritime Museum, where you can also see the Medal of Honor Museum, the USS Laffey, the USS Clamagore, and other exhibits and attractions. You can also book a guided tour, a flight simulator, or an overnight camping experience on board the ship. Number 6, The City Market. If you're looking for some local crafts, souvenirs, and food, you'll find plenty of options at the City Market, one of the oldest public markets in the country. The market stretches for four blocks along Meeting Street and features hundreds of vendors selling everything from sweetgrass baskets and jewelry, to paintings and pottery, to spices and sauces. The market is open every day from 9.30 a.m. to 6 p.m., and also hosts a night market on Fridays and Saturdays from 6.30 p.m. to 10.30 p.m. Number 5. Hey y'all, this is Dean from Morgansoft. We ask you to please, please subscribe. Just hit the button and subscribe. The historic churches and synagogues. Charleston is also known as the Holy City because of its religious and cultural diversity and tolerance. You can visit some of the historic churches and synagogues that have given the city its nickname, such as St. Philip's Episcopal Church, the oldest church in the city, Circular Congregational Church, the oldest continuously worshipping congregation in the South, the French Huguenot Church, the only remaining Huguenot Church in America, and Cahal Kadosh Beth Elohim, the oldest Reform synagogue in the country. Number 4, The Plantations and Gardens. If you want to escape the city and enjoy some nature, you can also visit some of the plantations and gardens that surround Charleston, such as Drayton Hall, Middleton Place, Magnolia Plantation, and Boone Hall. Here, you can admire the stunning landscapes, learn about the plantation life and the African-American heritage, and participate in various activities, such as tours, exhibitions, festivals, and wildlife encounters. Number 3, The Food and Drinks. Of course, no trip to Charleston would be complete without tasting some of the local specialties, such as shrimp and grits, she crab soup, fried green tomatoes, hush puppies, and sweet tea. You'll find plenty of options to satisfy your appetite, from casual seafood shacks and barbecue joints, to fine dining restaurants and rooftop bars. 
You can also join a food tour or a cooking class to learn more about the culinary traditions and secrets of Charleston. Number 2, The Forts and Islands. If you're feeling adventurous, you can also explore some of the forts and islands that are part of Charleston's history and geography. You can take a ferry or a water taxi to visit Fort Sumter, the place where the first shots of the Civil War were fired, or Fort Moultrie, the site of a Revolutionary War battle. You can also visit Sullivan's Island, a popular beach destination and the home of the author Edgar Allan Poe, or Morris Island, where you can see the iconic Morris Island Lighthouse. Number 1, The Historic District. And finally, the number one thing to do in Charleston is to simply wander around the historic district, where you'll find a wealth of landmarks, museums, churches, and shops. You can also take a carriage ride, a bike tour, or a walking tour to learn more about the history, architecture, and culture of Charleston. You'll be amazed by the beauty, hospitality, and personality of this city. As you can see, Charleston is a city that has something for everyone, whether you're looking for history, culture, nature, or food. It's a city that will charm you with its beauty, hospitality, and personality. It's a city that you'll want to visit again and again. So, what are you waiting for? Plan your trip to Charleston today and discover why it's one of the best cities in the world.